we load a different route, it takes a certain amount of time. Route changes aren't instantaneous. So it would be nice to know when we're in the process of changing a route. It would be nice to have a loading icon, animation, whatever, in order to see we're in the process of loading and we just need to sit tight. We can install a package for this. So in our terminal, we'll just add another pane to it, another window. We'll install the package and progress to give us this loading state. Once that's installed, we'll need to grab the associated CSS for it. You can grab it at cdnjs.com in the search. We'll search for the end progress library and we'll find this endprogress.min.css file. We'll hit the copy button to copy the URL to it, linking to the style sheet for end progress. And now we need to apply this style sheet. So the question is, how do we add new style sheets? How do we use a link tag in order to put it in the head of our document, our HTML document? Well, we can use a special component, and I'm currently in the layout component. We can use the special component that Next provides called head. So we can get head from next slash head. We can use this to modify all the content that's being delivered in our head. For example, we can change the title and give it the title, say, of next portfolio. Since we're using the layout component, this title that we've added will be applied to all the pages that we're on. And to apply these styles, to add a link with the relative style sheet, we can just add that immediately and paste in the href to href attribute. But that, by default, isn't going to do anything for us. We're going to need to know when our routes are being fired, when they're starting, and when they're done. You can get that information from the router. You can get access to the router from next slash router. We'll also need end progress to link up with the router state. So to get certain parts of a route change, we can take the router and use certain hooks. For example, the on route change start hook to know when our route change is beginning. And with this method, we can add a function. We can use this URL parameter in order to get information about which path name that we're going to, which route that we're going to. So for now, I'm just going to console log it so we can see it in our console. And we're going to use end progress here to call its method start to start our loading icon. Then we'll use the on route change complete hook, its method. We don't have to include a function body here. We can just immediately return after the arrow function end progress dot done. We'll call the done method when our route change is complete. Now if there's an error the route change will technically be complete as well. So we can use the on route change error method here to also call, call end progress dot done. Okay, so now let's try this out. We'll open our console. We'll try going from route to route. We see the loading bar here, inch across the top of the page. We see our loading spinner here. And we also get information about which path we're trying to go to. So it's giving our users an indication that they just need to sit tight and the route will soon be loaded.